Hi, I'm Dan Seidberg, President of I Am Responding, and I want to thank you for activating a new trial with I Am Responding. You're going to go down a quick little journey that's going to be very beneficial to your department, your operations, and how your department functions with its communications, and we really look forward to working with you. I'm here with Mike Kenica, who helps oversee special projects and group retraining with I Am Responding. We want to talk to you real quickly about what's next. So Mike, what's, what are their next logical steps? Yeah, so we have a, a, a few steps that we're gonna go across, and really one of the big things that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do is train. Um, we'd like to have you start off with a, a webinar training with your sales rep. And not just yourself, it is a train the trainer session, but if you have other folks, administrators, or other individuals in your agency that are gonna help you out uh, with deploying and responding to your department, bring those folks into that training as well. Uh, we can usually do that simply online uh, through web, web training. So that's step number one. Okay, so, so they're gonna get training, they're gonna get basic training. We don't expect you to learn all of the features in day one, but, but for the core, how do you get started? That training webinar is gonna be a really important starting point. And then what comes next in their process? So after the training, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you speak with your members about how I'm responding is specifically gonna be helping your agency. So what, what is your mission, your goal in I'm responding? And uh, the, the next step of that is, is making sure your members have the apps. And uh, when the members have the apps, they can start to utilize those features. Uh, it's much easier for them to understand how the system works uh, to get started. So, but setting, setting a, a goals or a, you know, a mission statement with your members, mission statement with your members, it's gonna help them uh, understand what they're looking to get out of it. So if, if you're using I'm responding for you know, messaging, or incident notifications, or being able to know which members are responding. Uh, just communicate with that, that with your members, and that'll help get everything kicked off. So that's a really important piece of this implementation process, because this is a new thing for your membership, not just for you, but your membership as well, of, of getting notifications on their devices, using their device to communicate their status back to you, and then all of the things that they can do with their app, it, it's new, so communicating to them how this is gonna help your department operationally, how it's gonna help your communications, how it's going to help your department tactically. How well you communicate that to your membership is going to be really important to determining how successful this implementation is going to be in your department. So Mike, once they are implemented, obviously it's very important that they communicate to their members to get the I Am Responding app downloaded onto their device and logged in so they're using it. What do they need in terms of equipment for in the station? Yeah, so one of the, the most uh, recognizable uh, uh, things that folks use with I Am Responding is a, a TV in their bay. Um, so you're really going to want to set up a computer in your station, uh, internet connected computer hooked up to a TV, and uh, that's going to be uh, really a, uh, a great indicator for your members of how I'm responding works, whether, especially with our customized displays, being able to see which members are responding, the maps. Um, so any real, not any any Windows computer uh, hooked up to a TV is really going to be the uh, the next step that you. So and just to be clear, this this isn't an extensive computer setup, yeah. right? This is this no. is far less than that, right? Yeah, no. It, there's there's a variety of different uh, configurations that we've seen people use. Um, when I talk to folks, I, I say just a simple internet connected computer. If it's a, a Windows 10, you know, computer, uh, that's that, that's going to work fine. Um, uh, that's really what we're looking for folks to use. There there are other options, but that's what we're going to be recommending for folks. Okay. We definitely prefer that you're running. Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari as your browsers, um, as those are the most compatible with the system as they're using it. But again, making sure that, that you get it implemented, having that display in the station, it's a great information display and it's a great reminder to your members of this new system that you have as a reminder to use it. Um, but really important is stay in touch with your sales rep through this trial process. We don't expect, again, we don't expect you to learn everything in day one but do your basic training webinar at the beginning, and then each week as you get into new features or whoever it is that's digging into new features, just set up a series of continuing webinars, whether it's a five minute webinar, or a 10 minute webinar, to learn one, two, or three new features. Expand that as you work through your trial. The more you learn with it, the more you're gonna find that I am responding is gonna be very beneficial to you and your members. So thank you, and we look forward to working with you.